Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, with two of New York's funniest people, Aidy Bryant Thanks. and Mike Birbiglia. You guys are supporting, talk about funny, the UCB in 17 years of Del Close. The best. Awesome, right? Talk yeah. to me about it. I think I was, this is going to date me, I think I was in the first DCM. Whoa. I think I was in the Del, first Del Close Marathon. I was in a group, the Georgetown Players Improv group in college. With I was in with Nick Kroll and a bunch of other great people. I think we, were in the, I think we drove up and did the first one and then... I was in a group that performed at UCB for a bunch of years with Nick called Little Man, and we did it a bunch of years too. So I've been doing this thing a long time. Wow. Well, I not, love this fest. Not to date me, but this is my first oh, one. Oh, <laughs> new <kidding>. in town. <laughs> no, so I'm so excited. Yeah. All right. Speaking of exciting, SNL, how much fun are you having? You guys are just brilliant. So much fun, yeah. Yes. I mean, we're on summer break right now, so we're just you relaxing, really yes. <laughs> When you look at people like Amy and obviously Matt and the influence they've had, talk to me as comics, what they've brought to the game in terms of nurturing talent. So much. I mean, if you look at comedy, television, and film right now, so many people uh, have either come through, you know, uh, Second City in Chicago or, or UCB in New York or L.A. It's unbelievable. What does someone like Amy meant to a career like yours? Because... I was talking to her, I feel like we're seeing the golden age of female comics right now, but it's because of people like Amy and Tina. Yes, totally. I mean, I think Amy is such a great example because she's someone who is an improviser first, and she keeps improvising even though she's in the biggest movies ever and does things like this. It's super cool. Yeah. 